Hello, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session of video, we will learn the relationship between bison and flux. The most fundamental things if you are going to uh, use bison and flux. So, flux, we need to define three parts. We need to implement three parts. Three parts and two functions. Actually, three four functions we have to define. See? And we need to make three files and four functions. For lux, for flux, we need to for flux we need to provide one file called lux, lux l. We we have to provide this file for flux. And for Python. For Python, we have to provide parser. Parser Y. Parser extension is Y. So, and we need to provide a function main. We need to provide a function main in through source CPP. This part can be anything actually. We provide, we make function int main or int main. We need to implement this part, uh, this function. And we, we provide this lexer l, then flux generates, flux generates lexer cpp. And Python gets info file pass y and generates parser cpp parser cpp and parser h parser header file. So Python usually generates two files: parser cpp, parser h. These files are generated. And this part we code. We make parser code and we code. We do coding. We do coding. In so and we have to implement one more part. INT a uh, normal void. YY error. YY error constant character star message so we have to we have to implement these two this function this function we have to provide and plus generate lex cpp this file contains this file contains int uh, yy lex So int yy lux is generated by flux and contained in this part yy lux cpp and Python generates parser cpp and this part contains int yy pass. So parser Python generates. Parser CPP and it contains int pass yy pass and this file is used here. Parser header file is used in lexical scanner file here. Also, this file is used here to interface. This file is used to interface. This function and the token. This file contains token. Token type. Token type is defined in this part, in this parser header files. These are basic relations. And now I am going to tell you, explain how functions are called. How functions are called. And this is default function signature. Default function signature. Default function signature. 
and default function signature. But we can change function yy lacks function per y y lacks function parameter. We can change it. Uh, we, we can also change it. Parameter. About parameter change, uh, how to define this parameter, yy pass parameter, yy lacks parameter, I will explain in next video. For the time being, in this session, I will explain how these functions work together. So, we have to code this file, one file, two file, three file. To make a, a complete application using Python and Blast, we have to provide lexl pass y source cpp, three files. We have to provide, make three files. Then, Lex implements, plus implements, int, yy, 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 lex, and parser cpp implements, this implements, int, yy, pass. INTYY pass and we implement this file with a hand. We implement by ourselves and Python gener generates parser CPP. In this file, INTYY pass is included. In function main, in function main, we call YY pass. We call this function. Then yy, yy pass here int yy pass we define yy pass defines int token like this. Then in while loop, while loop, in the while loop, yy pass calls, in yy pass, in the while loop, it calls yy, yy lex calls yylx and saves the token. Token. Then it tests. It tests if it is zero. If it is not zero, what if what token is not zero, yylx does not return zero, then It do it. It does loop. It is in loop. So in yy pass, yy lax is called repeatedly until token is not zero. So if it returns top zero, then it returns. Returns zero probably. Zero means success. And this token is sweet. In switch statement token like this and case rule one case rule two then depending on token the grammars are processed if it error if it occurs error here somewhere in the code if there is error, then it calls yy error with a message. If there is some error while processing, then it calls yy error. Like this. So this is basic way how, how yy pass calls yy lax. In yy lax,
in YYLX, in YYLX, YYLX reads text compiled files reads file our file. I mean, we provide the file, read this file, and process the contents of the file and returns token. Returns token. So, at the end of the file, at the EOF, if the contents of the file is at the EOF, then returns zero. So, if YYLX read, is, read all the files at the end of the file, which is at the end of the file, then it returns zero. If it returns zero, then token becomes zero. It returns zero at the end of the input file. Then if the token is zero, then it falls down here. Then yy yy pass ends. This is the basic mechanism. For more information about Plex and Bison, please visit www.talkplayfun.com. At this website, these two Bison and Plex. In this website, you can read more about the Bison and Plex, and you can read the documentation. Uh, PowerPoint, my PowerPoint documentation, you can download. And in this presentation, in this YouTube, in this video, you can you can watch the functional call, uh, functional function call sequence. How functions are related to each other in this file. For example, for example, function main, function main. I will, I will make it bigger. In function main, in function main, yy pass is called. This is yy pass, and yy pass calls yy lax, yy lax this function, and yy pass calls yy lax repeatedly in in loop, in for loop like this. And if error message occurs, then it calls yy error. So. I will put a link of this document in my in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.